Hey guys, today we're gonna check out breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams. We're gonna look at how to create them and check out some of our favorite features. So let's get into it. Breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams are extremely useful for when you need to separate a large meeting out into smaller groups. So these are especially useful in the educational setting for corporate trainings, corporate events, um, large groups that need to break out into committees or brainstorming sessions. Breakout rooms function as Teams meetings in themselves, so all the features you know and love about Teams are available in your breakout room. Before we get into it, if you like this kind of content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave today and hit that little bell to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Let's get started by looking at how to create a breakout room. What you'll wanna do first is make sure you are running the latest version. So a couple things you'll wanna check. If you click your picture right up here while you're in Teams, Right down here, this check for updates button will ensure that all of the latest updates are in your Teams. Another thing you can do is click your settings and make sure you have turned on the new meeting experience. That way, any updates that are into Teams are shown in your meetings. Since we are good there, I'm gonna jump over to my meeting and to start a breakout room, I'm gonna click the icon up here. It's two squares just representing a room within a room. We're gonna click that and we have a few options to configure our breakout rooms. So first, how many rooms do you need? They let you choose up to 50. So we have a small group here today, I'm gonna say two. The next thing that we have to choose is if we want participants automatically assigned to the rooms or manually. I like to choose who's in what room, so I'm going to click manually. One thing to remember is that participants can't choose the rooms themselves. Um, if they want to request a certain room, they would need to go through you as the organizer. Another thing is that only the organizer can create these breakout rooms and the option will only be there if it is a scheduled meeting that the organizer has scheduled in the calendar. It can't be something impromptu from a Teams channel. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit create rooms. And from there, um, I can see over here, this is the organizer's view. My two rooms are here on the right. Since I selected to manually assign people, I can see my participants here in this drop down um, small meeting just for our, our example. All I have to do is assign Mitch here. So I'm gonna select Mitch. And as you can see, you can select multiple people if you're with a bigger group and then hit assign and I'm going to put him in room one. So once you select all which rooms all of your participants are gonna go into, you will need to go ahead and click start rooms here on the manage area. And here too, if you have participants that join the meeting late, they're gonna show up right here in your assigned participants um, area. So from there, you'll have to move them over to a breakout room. Okay, so you can see I got pushed into a breakout room. Uh, Appearance-wise, it looks exactly the same as the last Teams meeting I was in, but if you go to the part participants menu, I'm the only one in the meeting. Um, Ashley still shows up as from the chat, um, but this conversation in here is totally self-contained now. So only my breakout room, anyone else that was put in my breakout room uh, will see this chat. So if you need to collaborate with each other, you need to share documents and communicate and um, work on something, this would be your place to do it. Um, and then also you can see this option up here to return to the main meeting. Um, I can click that. So if, if our group gets done and we're kind of just waiting around and, and want to go back to the main, main meeting, we can click that. The participants can also choose to go back and forth between if they're in a breakout room and you need to jump back to the main room to ask a question, you can jump back, back into the main room, ask your question, and then go back to the breakout room that you were assigned. That is a feature that the organizer can choose. You can also choose people not be allowed to move back and forth between the main room and the breakout rooms. Another thing I can do as the organizer is jump into my breakout rooms and give instructions, see what they're working on, I'll let them ask any questions. So I'm gonna hit room one here and click join room or rename if you wanna name the sessions, name the groups. I can jump into the room where Mitch is here, see what they're working on and then head back out. When I hit leave here, I'm just gonna return to my main 
uh, meeting space. So when everyone's done, let's say we're done with our breakout session, I've given them five minutes for brainstorming. If I click close rooms right here, that's gonna automatically close all of the breakout rooms and bring everyone back into the main room space. And anything that your participants worked on in their breakout room is gonna be saved in their own separate chat space. And then they can choose to bring those documents that they collaborated on there and uh, upload them into the main meeting room. Okay, let's say you've had more time in your main meeting and you need to go back out into your breakout rooms. So you have two choices. You can either send participants back into the same small groups that they were in, and that would be done by clicking, if you just click start rooms right here, that's gonna put everyone right back where you originally assigned them. Or I can go up here and click recreate rooms. Let's say I want everyone to be shuffled. Um, I'm gonna select two rooms again and have them automatically be assigned. We're gonna have teams do the legwork for me. This puts everyone um, back into randomly assigned rooms. So then I click start rooms. Now he's in the room that was assigned to him by teams. Another thing that you can do as the organizer, if there's further instruction that you wanna give, or maybe somebody came back into the main space, asked a really good question that I wanna share with all of my breakout rooms. I'm gonna click up here and click make an announcement. From here, I can type in a message. I'm gonna say five minutes left and then send that out. And then you'll see that message go out to every participant in each of the breakout rooms. All right, so let's close the rooms again, bring everyone back into the main meeting space. And now we're all back in the main meeting space ready to speak as a large group. So there's a quick little demo of just some of the things you can do in breakout rooms. When you're meeting with larger groups of people, it can be harder to create meaningful connections. So breakout rooms help facilitate that. So we hope you enjoyed our video and we'll see you again soon. Bye.